new hair. I don't even know how to start this video. I had a 2 a.m. idea to start looking at pictures of lobs and ended up chopping off 11 inches the next day. So this happened. Impulsive decisions are my forte. <laughs> So this video is just going to be showing you guys the new cut and also how I dye my hair. I color my hair at home, I have for years. If you have dark hair, it's so easy to do yourself. This is just what I do. I'm going to start out with how I dye my hair and then you guys will see how my hair used to look and then I'm going to go into what my hair looks like now. Alright, dyeing the hair. The first thing I do is take off the leopard robe and put on a really hideous black hair dye shirt that I use for dyeing my hair every single time. I typically dye my roots about every four to six weeks and then I do my whole head probably every three months or as soon as it starts fading a little bit. I usually switch off between different hair dyes. It's really easy to test out different ones with black hair dye. Today I'm using Esalon, which is freaking awesome. You basically go online, take a hair quiz, they match you with an expert colorist, and they basically create a custom color for your hair. So mine is soft black with a tint of blue on the roots and then a blue gloss on the rest of my hair. So they formulated two separate bottles for me and it only cost 20 bucks, which I feel like is so cheap. You guys can get 50% off so you can get your first one for $10 with the link in the description box, which is insane, like as cheap as a box dye. You're basically getting professional grade hair color and advice, you just dye it at home yourself. So it comes with this kit that comes with um, stain guard, remover, shampoo, and conditioner. So I'm just starting out by brushing my hair and then I'm going in with the stain guard on my forehead. This just helps to make sure you don't dye your actual skin. Your stylus is also available by phone or email. So if you're like mid dyeing hair and you're having an emergency or you have a burning question, give him or her a ring. So I'm just rubbing this down the neck. Since I dye my hair darker than my natural color, which is like a strawberry blonde, I always start out with the roots, so I'm using a 20 volume developer and then the root color. It's just like a normal color, you just pour it in and shake it up and you're good to go. Put those gloves on and then they do give you custom instructions for your color, which is pretty cool. They actually tell you specifically what's in each bottle and how they mixed it. They save all of your info on file too, so if you want to go back and say like I want more blue in the dye, they know exactly what to do next time. So I go ahead and just start by applying my roots. I always start in the center and then I kind of just portion it off with the actual head of the bottle, like kind of part it and just rub it in with my fingers. So this is just always what I've done. I frame my face first and then I'll go into the specific sections and get all of my roots covered. This is totally doable by yourself, but it is a lot easier if you have a friend or roommate who can get the back for you. I'm so used to doing it myself now over the years that I'm just kind of nowhere to go. So now that my roots are all done, I'm going in with that blue gloss and just shaking it up. You don't have to section off your hair. For me, it's just easiest to make sure I get every section. And I basically just pin them up and then I'll take a section. I'm starting with my left side today. And I literally just squirt the dye on the hair and then kind of use my fingers to rub it in and make sure it's all covered. While I'm waiting for my color to develop, I usually pluck the brows and do all the things that I've been procrastinating doing. So I wash my hair with the shampoo and conditioner that came in the box, and here's what the color looks like. I was blow drying my hair this day, so I'm just putting in some heat protectant, and this smells so freaking amazing. This is by Esalon, and it smells like a perfume. It says it has antioxidants and vitamin B5 in it, so it'll help your color from fading as well. Then I'm going in with the anti-frizz serum and I don't like to put this on my roots but I just put it from about my ear length down. Since my hair is super thick and naturally wavy I definitely always put some kind of smoothing product or oil in to help with the frizz situation. Super happy with how the color turned out. I feel like especially in natural lighting it has a really nice blue tint to it. This video was filmed over like a couple weeks span so this is how the hair dye looks after two weeks. I wash my hair about two to three times a week. Three times is very generous. Probably two times a week. My hair doesn't get super oily so I just dry shampoo it up and we're good to go. But this is how the color looks. It looks super shiny and healthy. I love the color. It's staying in really well. And I think it has the perfect amount of like a bluish tint to it. When I'm outside, you can definitely see the blue tint a little bit more. Super genuinely happy with the color. I will be repurchasing Esalon for sure. I really like that when I wash my hair, a ton of color doesn't come out in the tub. I feel like when I use my box dyes, every time I wash my hair, it's like black liquid pouring down the drain. When I've been washing my hair, not a whole lot has been coming out. So I feel like it's just staying in my hair really well.
Okay, so now that we are 11 inches shorter, so I'm gonna insert the pictures right here that I showed my hairstylist what I wanted. I feel like that's helpful if you're going for the same kind of look. I basically just like Instagrammed long bobs for two hours at 2 a.m. It was a good time. I am definitely still in shock mode. Like I was sitting in the chair and my hairstylist Danielle was like, are you ready for this? I don't think I really processed what I was doing until after 11 inches had been chopped off my hair, but I donated it to Lox Love and the charity that that salon donates to is a children's wig donation. I do like it. I feel like I'm still getting used to it and the cut isn't exactly what I want yet. I'm actually gonna be going in in a few days back to her to have her just thin out the back a little bit because I'll show you guys basically angle it a little bit more like I want there to be a clear angle in the front and then also my hair is so thick that it just is way too heavy and like chunky in the back so I'm gonna have her thin it out a bit I'm gonna show you guys the back now so here's what the back looks like I just want it to be a little more like angled and edgy and less like soccer mom so here's what it looks like up close so you guys can see how she layered it and stuff. I'll probably update what it looks like on Instagram or Snapchat, so make sure you're following me on there if you're curious. I literally got this done yesterday, so I haven't played around with styling it too much yet, but I'll insert a picture right here of it curled, and this is kind of like how I left the salon. Then I went home and I kind of styled it myself a little bit more, and here's a picture of that. Like it curled, again, I think once there's like layers in the back and it's less thick, it'll look a lot better curly. Right now I'm feeling the straight a little bit more, but we'll see. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more videos, make sure you click the subscribe button and join the Bayrido family. You can follow me on all of my social channels, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, at the Taylor, except for Snapchat, the Taylor Snaps, because some asshole took it. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.